Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, we put some fires out, metaphorically as well as actually, and we then went ahead and eventually got this cell block C started. Now, obviously it's nowhere near completion, but hopefully we'll be able to get it, if not fully done, probably most of the way of this episode. Our primary concern is obviously still keeping an eye on these very high risk prisoners here. Obviously the majority of them are uh, volatile and deadly. We've got three legendary prisoners in the leaders as well as the lieutenants as well. There was a play um, attempted and it was I guess successful over here. This is where we've got our red um, a takeover of this and that's because one of the lieutenants was in parole so they were escorted to there and they could then meet up with these and it just seems to be that even though they're doing that it's like a sort of add-on bit as it were as in even if they're doing parole that's not an action the action was to uh, tell them to do that but anyway whatever whatever the reasons for it uh, we now can see that this is well will hopefully go down to nothing we'll have to see they can no longer keep um, taking control of it. It's slowly going down. Essentially, eventually it'll run out because there's no uh, way for them to to uh, have another attempt at uh, taking it. Unless, obviously, uh, once again, something weird happens like we've seen previously. Looks like there's been a little bit of a fight in and around here. You can see they're being searched. Uh, we'll just go ahead and end the punishment there and I'll put the danger level back to, back to low. That's fine. So, currently free time. We would like to search some more tonight and oh, we can actually get another we can get another guard, so let's do just that. There we are. And we are going to do a shakedown tonight, so click, and let's see what happens. So we have a total of 499 places to search. I'm just checking uh, scissors, so let's just see where these scissors are from. So the last 24 hours, we can see that there has been several units of scissors. One, two, two scissors there, and that was from there. Seven days... Scissors and scissors found there. Well, of course we'd find scissors in the library. That's where they're supposed to be. And the thing is, they haven't been taken from there. They've been... They've came from the outside. Okay, that's totally fine. Right, so we are still waiting for this to be built. As you can see, we've got the shower to complete. We also probably need to get some more cells. Currently got 15 grand and receiving about 3.5 per day, so more than enough to crack on with this. In fact, what I'll probably do, go over to quick build and cloning, and I will clone, I think, the tops, top row here. Why not? Let's do that. Let's do that. So this will be... Pretty much, once again, doubling that capacity inside of there. Still the same, still the same risk, still high risk. And there we are. We now have six grand, which is just enough for us to place the metal detectors there, 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 and then there. And they are really wanting to go in there, but they're not able to. And there's some fighting. Let's get some guards in here. And oh, dearie me. Yeah, kicking off. Why is it kicking off? I don't know why. But deaths. Oh. Oh. Okay. I thought there was the violence was down there, but apparently it was here. So that... They've managed to, once again, fight from there and all the way around. I mean, to be fair, we do expect this with them being legendary prisoners, you understand. Right, so... Hang on. I've got a response. Turn that off. Shake down. Turn that off. That uh, prisoner has... They haven't got punishment. They haven't got a punishment. End punishment. There we go. Now it's going to go down and... Yeah, that happened again. <laughs> Remember, we haven't got free fire on. It's just... It's just happening that way. Hang on, where is a person being turned to? And the punishment for all these. Why is it flying up? Why is it flying up? I thought I've ended the punishment on them all. Hmm, gangs... There we go. Now it's going back down again. Oh, we also got this done, which I know was a cause of great concern for some people and a great amount of um, yeah, trepidation, but it is now sorted. So, uh, this is now getting arranged. We do need to order the patrols. So, deployment, guard patrols. We have a patrol that just goes all the way around. So, we know the dimensions, so we can build this quite easily. Let's go to arm patrols and we'll set this up. So, it's a double walk to there. Double walkway to there, same down the bottom here, and then right across like so. And then we will assign a guard 
One, two, and three. And the dog patrols are on the outside. So it'll be one, two, and then three. You notice that we haven't got any patrols around here. Like, look, for, for dogs, I mean, because, well, quite honestly, I don't anticipate anybody around here trying to tunnel out. <laughs> They're more of a fighting type, and uh, I should have put the lights in there. There we are. How are we doing for power, by the way? Power is not too bad. Not too bad. So we've got the patrols around here. We have got the water pipes to be placed which is now in that will increase the amount of prisoners that we can have we're currently on 114 it means that once we've got this we can get another guard don't know if we need any don't know if we need any more guards just yet let me put that back to normal staff we oh yes we do need some more armed guards one two and that's all we can get i would like another four more uh, obviously we have lost some guards because of the violence there so I need to get some more and in order to do that we'll have to just wait a little bit of time although we could get a loan couldn't we I guess get a loan a bit of a short term payday loan could do 25 okay and that means that staffing wise we can go for two dog handlers two more armed guards and we'll go for two more guards to bring us up to 12 because we're going to get that very shortly anyway. We will find 10 legal narcotics. is now down to 30%. I'm going to get rid of that. That is useless. Cell box C. Completed. <laughs> Crack down on drugs. 30%. Brilliant. Uh, cell block D. There we go. Decrease the bank loan much better right so we now have all of the arm guards there i am going to go ahead and i will oh no maybe do i do it now or not i was gonna say i'll go for the ta uh, guard test certification but i don't know if it's strictly necessary at the moment what is necessary some concrete tiles around here simply because of the walk the walking is becoming a problem and we'll do that as well so there's that in. I guess it means now, quick build and clone, we could probably get this built completely. I don't think there's a reason why we couldn't. Simply because we have all of that money now. With the advancement in that grant, we should have enough money to get this fully cloned. It will mean... Being very careful where we place it. Hoping I get it correct. Looks correct so far. But we'll see. This is also cloning the light, so it might be overlit. And we'll have to deal with that. And there we are. Obviously, I haven't got the CCTV in, but the majority of it is done. That power station is running very, very warm. We will probably have to, in the middle of the night, we'll probably have to get a loan, change the grid, and do it that way, I think. That's probably what we'll have to do. And why is that bit not done? It is definitely ordered. I can see it there. Yeah. Very strange indeed. Very strange indeed. Right, so... We'll place more of this across. And that'll be this pretty much done. Danger level is low. 14 prisoners say they're well treated. 15 prisoners, 16, it's going up. Uh, one prisoner has serious complaints. 92 prisoners are suppressed and compliant. That, that's because of all of the armed guards that are around. You notice that the armed guards have situated themselves in like the security rooms and such when they're not doing anything else, although that one's just chilling out in the armory. Probably cleaning some guns or something. We got 10 armed guards in service, which is classed as a negative, um, strangely. Warden is having a calming effect on the prisoners, because that's the type of warden that we have. One deterrent because of the punishments. And then 32 prisoners have been uh, unnecessarily searched recently. Uh, that's their opinion. They're entitled to it. I don't agree. And then we've got the staff morale, which is also high. We don't really have any need to 
increase the amount of money that the guards get because they're already quite efficient. Let me go for a shakedown. No, let's not go for a shakedown because I think it's more important that we get this built. Um, I like the way that that's designated as security and the armed guard is wandering around there. Even though it's not even built, they are still wandering around there, which is pretty cool. And they're building all of this. That'll take us up to... That'll take us up to a fairly decent amount of prisoners and obviously more guards as well. The current cell block D is to raise the prisoner capacity to 200, which we, I think, will be just off. Or will we? I don't know. When we get this and this done, we might be about there. We also have to get this parole up and running and this other room. In terms of the library, I've not seen any books around, but I don't know if that's just something I've missed. I also want to put some CCTV in there as well, but that really requires another CCTV monitor and another door control system. I think we need to do that as well. Now, I was going to change this grid, but it is... Well, we don't really have the money, and also they're still building this. I would have thought that I'd have built it before then, but no. So, I will not worry about it. We're still okay. It's grid's running a little hot, so it can blow up at this stage. I think it's anything over 80%. But uh, it's okay for now, I guess. I'm just going to double check. I'm pretty confident that's now no longer under control. Oh, it is. It's just about to finish. And there's some more fighting. And he was hit so hard, he went through the wall to there. <coughs> okay. I wonder if that guy's going to pack it in. That guy is going to pack it in. There you go. So he was just fighting because, because of Andrew Morgan. Just essentially um, being volatile. End the punishment there. That will go back down to normal. Excellent. So, in terms of our capacity, we have enough to get one more guard. There we go, because we've just went over the 131. Our dog handlers, they're fine. Arm guards, probably don't need any more. Sniper, do want another one. I want two more, actually. There we go. Because it means one in every tower, or, actually no, they'll probably just glitch out and try to get another tower that nobody else is at. Oh, there we go. Uh, and then one spare for being in the cafeteria, which is exactly what's happened. So that's that's exactly what we wanted. Right, there has been a bit more intake, and we've now got 20 grand. Let me just go over to intelligence and informants. We have an ex-law enforcement, so at least we caught them there. Strong, volatile, ex-law enforcement gang member. Interesting. Andrew Langdon, prisoner number 2695245, sentenced for 23 years for armed robbery. You are now protective custody. I mean, how they have fallen from grace, eh? They're only age 19 as well. Wow. So, at age 19, they were effectively a police officer, I'm guessing. There's another one, Adam Osborne. So they've done well for himself that age. And then, for whatever reason, just snapped and armed robbery. I wonder if it was in their old uniform. Hmm. Anyway. Call the police! I am the police! Right. <laughs> that would be really scary, wouldn't it? Anyway, let me get all these doors open here. You can see they are trying to go ahead and put some lights in. Um, currently not successfully. We will also go to flooring. Concrete tiles. Let's get the concrete tiles put in. This is the last section we need. Oh, cancel. And there we go. And then finally, we need some CCTV. And I'm just going to check over here to see what it's like. You notice we haven't got any CCTV in here. That's because we have permanent patrols. And also, it's quite a small area. So the patrols give us that line of sight. So we don't really need to worry. Um, and these ones, I think it's on that side, isn't it? Yeah, there and there. That should be fine. Uh, still running warm. I think we'll put in a CCTV camera there. That's probably reasonable. And I think it's also probably best if we get this visitor um, thing done. Ooh. Once again, we have Emrahan just immediately killing a guard. Are they extremely deadly? Extremely deadly. And they're now charging out, or at least they're attempting to charge out. Free fire. Don't not. Just, just, yeah. Oh! Oh! Um. Right. It's a good job I have a nice, relaxing chamomile beverage here. Riot underway. So. That's happened because. 
the blue gang member, gang leader rather, has been killed. And that means that all of their gang kick off. Oh, turn free fire off. No, thank you. Oh, no. Every gang member, I think, is booting off a bit. We have several deaths here. A lot of it is to do with... Oh, is that a full-on gang war? Yeah. They've taken the shotgun somehow and they're firing at other people. We haven't got... A... What are they firing at? Are they just? Are they using the shotgun and just firing at toilets and such? They are. You can see that nine deaths in total. Some in the chapel there. I will... Have a guard, uh, some guards report to them. Um, we have some fighting in the centre there, and yeah, I don't have on free fire anymore, but they're still firing. And danger level isn't. Oh, we've got to stand off. <laughs> Good grief! Both of these firing back there. That was something I did not expect. But weirdly, quite enjoyed that. You know. Strange way, probably a crude way. Um, just the surprise of uh, you know that that person actually being taken out. Multiple times we've uh, free fired and they've just put the hands up. But uh, I think it was the combination of the sniper and the shotgun that just like nope, bang, there you go, stopped, and that's what happened. So yeah, yeah. Let's see, danger level is going up, but none of them are fighting because of the leader being imprisoned yet. They will eventually. Uh, we do have the right amount so we can get another guard. And we can get three more armed guards. We don't need any more dog handlers, I don't think. Uh, we might do. There we go. I might get some... I might assign some more dog handlers. How many do we have assigned? Two, three. Just the three. Okay. We'll have... Do we want to have them in here? One. Two. Three. So we have six assigned in total. One. Two. Three. And then there. One. Two. Four. Ah. Okay, uh, so there's that sorted. So we have more set there. So we have a total of six, and we got 12 anywhere. Is that right? 12, yeah, and five snipers still. So, hmm, there's going to be a lot of people using this service. So let me go ahead and um, build it bigger, because it should be. Like so. Put the bin in there. Should have a metal detector in there, but I don't think we have enough people... Enough power, rather, to do it. Two more doctors. And there we are. Right, so danger level is going up. Leader is being punished. That will now not go down because, well, to be fair, there's been a gang leader killed, so this will continue on for quite some time, slowly going up. And, oh, there's Chris. Chris Delay. Writer, designer, programmer, head honcho of the game. Not anymore. Not anymore. It's now Paradox owns it because, you know, the big void that their publishing label is. Sucks everything in. <laughs> I expect um, some uh, blog DLC shortly. Uh, ooh. I'm fighting in here. Hmm. Sort of ironically, I've uh, ordered some people to go into the chapel and placed it in a cross formation. Looks like Harris is fighting there. And so is, is that Howell? Cowell? Uh, Dave. Did that just say Dave? Hang on. Dave. Yeah, Dave. Dave Harris. Right, so danger level is now going down. It will take quite some time for us to clean the place up. Um, you know, we do need to sweep a bit more. Let me go to staff and... I've already got six janitors, so... That should be enough. It should be enough for the time being. Obviously, there's a lot of people need treatment in here. Uh, there's some scissors. I do need a metal detector, so I will... Place that brick wall there, but I think the money that... Well, the money that we need really is to... Uh, oh, look at that. That's a shame. 
can't believe that's not powered up. What's the solution to that then? Yeah, just run one straight up like that. There we go. Ah, that's exactly what we've done over there anyway. Sound. Un danger level is maxed out. Oh, gang members furious once again. Let me check and end the punishment there. And now it will go down. Luckily, we caught it before it stayed too high. So that's fine. Have they just kicked off again? I'm guessing they have. Yeah. Well. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, lesson learned. Um... <laughs> Where are they going? Oh, they're getting healed. Lesson learned. If you put free fire on, don't be surprised if it goes all kinds of... Hmm. All kinds of bad. Look at that. That that should not happen. This is solitary and they are just allowed to wander in, talk to the gang leader, uh, gang there because he's super max. But he shouldn't even be there. Shouldn't even be there. Punish. Lockdown six hours. Go. Four star, four star open. Take him back to his cell. There you go. Right. Shouldn't even be allowed in there, man. Should only be here. Let me double check the deployments. Deployments are fine. Access only. Yes, certainly. Security room's the same. Parole. Security parole. Infirmary. Bit of a sort of pointless one, that one. But yeah. And those. Why not? Okay. So we'll see if we can get anyone recruited as a confidential informant. And look at them over there. Yeah. It's because I guess there's only one place for them to go. So. Because that does make sense, I guess. Because these. I'm just going to have to. And their punishment. Yeah, these can be escorted elsewhere, can't they? Because these are not set up to the they're not set up to be max sec. I could change it to max sec. There you go. And it means that they won't be able to be punished. But it will alert me to say on here uh, can't be punished, so we're fine in that regard. Okay, so things have now calmed down just a little bit. We have this cell block done, which is I am surprised about, and everything is sort of back on track. We do need to double check our guards. We have enough guards there. We are going to receive 18 prisoners in the morning. We do need to get this extra power station up and running, so that will require us to get a bank loan of 25 grand there. We'll go over to our utilities and then to power station. We're going to place a power station in this top right hand corner and then we'll put capacitors all the way around like so. That should be fine for our needs and then we will have to run some different cables. So we will uh, go to... We'll connect that up like so. And we will then dismantle utility all of that. And then all of that. And then all of... No, we can probably leave that one. All of that. And then it means that this section is now turned off, which it is. To be honest, I shouldn't have dismantled all of that. But this one is going to come out and along. Oh, hang on. No, it would actually clip that. That would be bad. Dismantle the utility there. <laughs> <laughs> and then across, along, down. It doesn't matter that it's outside, it's fine. And then that'll be on the new grid, which means that the top is controlled by the top left, the middle is controlled by the one at the bottom, and then the top right controls this bottom section here. And that should be alright, and it should be done before the prisoners wake up. And there we go. Done. Excellent. Right, we will go ahead and connect up this CCTV monitor to all of these. Unless we misclick like that, in which case we then don't. And that one there. And then... That's all fine, that's all fine. And I'm sure there's one more. That's in over there. Okay, so we will leave it there for now next episode uh hopefully we won't have the same sort of thing there it does mean now that we only have two gang leaders we have 
the red gang leader and the green gang leader. The most dangerous gang leader is obviously no longer with us. We do have one blue lieutenant, one green lieutenant, one red lieutenant. Looking around, I can't see any others. So, yeah, it means that essentially this should no longer be um, controlled by... Ah, oh, it might be because they're now going to swarm here. But they're not being ordered to take it, but that might just tip it over the edge. Yeah, as soon as it goes over there, look, see that? As soon as it goes over there, it refills it, even though they've not been ordered to go there. Sorry, even, like, by the lieutenants. They have, uh, they have went there, and that does that. I might have to evict them, but then that's going to cause more problems too. So we have got a <laughs> straightaway blue gang leader. Um, we will double check those. We can see this is Adam Levers, and hang on, is it them? I was going to say it can't be them, but it, it certainly can be. Yeah, it's them. No traits. Interesting. Supermax. They probably won't last long in their new uh, environment. Anyway, leaving it there. Next episode, we'll go ahead and see how we get on. Decent money, decent intake. 32 grand in the kitty. We can, if we wanted to, decrease that loan. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep that money because I want to build this and then finally this and then get some stuff around it. So because of the money, we will be able to finish this sooner rather than later. It's still nowhere near completed. We need to place all of the flooring around here in the center. All of this needs to be completed. Increase the size of... Actually, not, not increase the size of the common room, but put more things in the common rooms. Um, put flooring in, as I said. Uh, get the yard sorted. We need to evict them over there. We need to set up patrols around here. Maybe even put some, maybe put some snipers in these corners. I haven't yet decided. And then build that cell block. So, yeah, we are over the halfway point, certainly. But we are having to micromanage it more, especially when it comes to these gang leaders and the extremely volatile nature of them but for the most part things are still working and because of this certainly a lot less violence and stuff being taken over and such but anyway we will have to see how we get on next episode and in subsequent ones too as always comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings